What's going on guys, your boy Sha, and today I'm going to show you how to record Xbox One gameplay on your computer, whether you have a capture card or not. I personally use an Elgato HD60 capture card, which allows me to transfer all my clips from my Xbox onto my computer. However, you'll be able to use other options like Xbox One Drive and other features that the Xbox incorporates. That makes it very similar and very easy to do it. I believe all the clips uploaded to Xbox One will give you, you know, 720p. Which is not bad, but if you're looking to get 1080p or anything higher than that, you're going to want a capture card. However, it's not necessary to do it. So the first things first is talking about managing your clips and making it most efficient for you to edit. Back when I first started recording on the Xbox 360, you'd have to record hours of gameplay and then go back in and uh, find the clips you wanted and do it. But now what I like to do is as I'm playing and I get a cluster of clips over time, say throughout a month's time, I'll clip, I'll record maybe 10 or 12 clips, depending on what I'm looking to do or what game I'm playing. I'll then go into my upload studio on my Xbox One, put the clips together, record it, transfer it over, and then use whatever game, whatever editing software you want to use. I use Adobe Premiere, but you could use anything like Windows Movie Maker or iMovie if you're using a Mac, and then go ahead and edit them after that. It just makes it much easier to manage all your clips and just, it saves you a lot of time. So first things first, let's talk about going into Upload Studio and the process of which I go about it. First, I'll show you my desktop and uh, what I usually like to do on this end. So here's my desktop. I have the Elgato application open. It's right here. Um, it's going to say it's in use because I'm actually using Xbox Broadcaster right now to get this uh, to do everything I'm doing to show you guys what I'm going about. So you're not going to see a screen preview. However, these are my settings I like to use. Um, normally, I'll put this gameplay back to zero decibels. This is when I'm doing live streams. Uh, these are my settings. but bring all these back to zero um, okay and then for this instance um, normally I record an HD 720 just because the clips are only going on YouTube however if I'm making a montage or something that'll be broadcasted on a TV then I'll switch it over to 1080p for the better resolution but for now this is good okay all right so to begin I'm gonna show you how to do it on the Xbox end and then transfer it over and the process from that so let's switch over to the TV view and you'll see that I'm in upload studio right now so what I like to do is go into Upload Studio, and from here we're going to go start from scratch. And this will allow us to create a timeline of clips that we want to use that we're going to transfer over later for the computer. You could do it directly in the Upload area, but this makes it easier for you to bring in a new Elgato, hit the play button, and just record all the clips at once and allow you to filter out different ones that, that you don't want. We're going to hit start from scratch, and we're going to begin adding clips. Uh, I'm going to add just FIFA clips for, the, for now because that's the video I'm going to be making keep adding your clips I don't like to personally chop anything down right now I like to wait till post edit I'd rather have more clips to work with than less so I've found that sometimes I've clipped off too much of a clip that I wanted to you know use in the video so I just wait but go ahead and keep adding your clips I'm not gonna do them all right now but after you have the ones you want this is where you're gonna go ahead and title it I'm gonna name it test and this is where you're going to want an Xbox One Drive account. And you should already have one if you have a Microsoft account. That's how you have your Xbox One um, username. So you should already have one. You want to check mark that box, upload to OneDrive. And this is going to not only upload it to your saved files, but it's also going to transfer it right onto the server for Xbox One. So you're going to have or right onto that OneDrive for when you go on your computer and you're going to transfer them over. So let's hit next. Um, it's going to ask you if uh, once it begins, you can't edit anything from here. You can hit upload. I already did this, so I'm going to back out. And then once it's saved, it's going to be uploaded to your OneDrive, which I'm going to show you on the computer how to do that. And it's also going to be on your Xbox. So if I go to manage my clips, here it is. Test. Four minutes and 18 seconds long. These are a collection of the nine clips that I just added to one thing. So what I would do then is go onto my computer. Let's go to desktop view. Pause this for a second. And then I would go into Elgato. Like I said, it's going to show game captures in use because it's already there. But once I had all my settings and how I was looking to record it, I would just hit the record button. And then go ahead and play the clip. All right, so right now I have the capture card running. The gameplay clips are going. i got about 4 minutes and 18 seconds. I know before this is going to end. Once it's done, I'd hit the record button one more time to end the recording. And then I would have my file on my computer in the Xbox folder, which I designate for all my captures on Xbox. So as you can see, this is still playing, but I'm not going to let you sit through all this, so we'll, we'll move on. So once that's done, go to the desktop view. Okay. We're going we're gonna to close out of this because we don't need this right now. All right, so now that you're on your computer, you have two options to go about accessing your files. You could either, if you're using a capture card, obviously you know you could locate the full file that's already on your computer, or 
if you don't have a capture card you're going to be downloading the files from your OneDrive account which I'll show you how to do now I personally have the OneDrive app installed on my computer so it'll just be as simple as opening this up videos and it'll be under game DVR but if you don't have that already you're going to want to go to the website into where your stuff is and we're going to go into Xbox game DVR and in here we're going to find the file which is right here the test now I don't need to download it because I already have it but those are two ways you go about transferring files on your computer whether you have a capture card or not I hope this was useful if any of you guys have any questions put them in the comments below and I'll be glad to help you out but the next part of this video which I'll make somewhere somewhere down the line I'll show you guys actually how to bring it into Movie Maker or for me a premiere and show you guys how to edit clips and put music over it but I hope this was helpful thanks for watching guys it's your boy Shah enjoy your day